Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel from Oak Health and today I'll be sharing with you this state of ink deficiency that affects many many of us. So what exactly is ink deficiency? Ink deficiency is a state where the body lacks nourishment or moisture resulting in an excessive heat in the body. So as opposed to what a person would feel when a person falls under the young deficiency state an ink deficient person would have his body feeling very warm and very heated up as though the person is having a fever. So what are the organs that can be affected by ink deficiency? Organs that can be affected includes the heart, the lungs, the digestive system which is the spleen and the stomach, the liver and the kidney. So as you can see, ink deficiency affects many of the major organs and that's why many of us fall under this category. So what are some of the common causes of ink deficiency? For one, prolonged cough, especially dry cough. Excessive perspiration, which is a result of excessive exercise, can also cause ink deficiency. If you are guilty of watching dramas late at night and not sleeping, that is a very common cause of ink deficiency as well. Lack of water intake, excessive usage of electronic devices, and of course, when a woman reaches menopausal stage, all this can cause ink deficiency in a person. So let us look at what are some of the common symptoms that one can experience when he or she is in the ink deficiency state. When ink deficiency affects the heart or the lung meridian, one can experience low-grade fever, dry mouth or dry throat, sleeplessness, which is usually coupled with bad dreams anxiety or palpitations, especially in the mornings. And a very common symptom is palms and feet feeling warm, especially at night. When ink deficiency affects the digestive system, which is the spleen or the stomach, one can experience a loss of appetite, constipation or unexpected weight loss. So what happens when ink deficiency affects the liver or the kidney? One can experience giddiness, excessive dryness in the eye or floaters, excessive perspiration, especially at night, lower back aches, and for the women, reduced period flow or hot flushes. Very obvious physical attribute of an ink deficient person is the presence of very red facial cheeks. And the tongue, the tongue of an ink deficient person can be very red or dark red with no tongue fur at all or even having cracks on the tongue like this. These are some signs of ink deficiency when it attacks a person. Now that you know how it feels to be in the ink deficiency state, what can you do about it? Generally, eat less spicy food or deep fried food. Have less coffee. Sleep earlier. If you can sleep before 12, it would be the best because from 11 to 2, it is where the liver starts to detoxify. Exercise moderately without excessive perspiration. As like what I've mentioned, excessive perspiration can cause ink deficiency. So in TCN's perspective, when we treat ink deficiency, one common acupoint that you can apply some light massage to is this acupoint, the Sun Ink Tiao. So what are some of the common herbs that you can get off the shelf if you feel that you are in this ink deficiency state? One would be the Bai He, Li Di Bak, the Gou Qi Zi, Wolfberry, the Shan Yao, or Chinese Yam. These are common herbs that we use in our practice when we treat a person with ink deficiency. So lastly, the common food that you can take when you are in the ink deficiency state. Green bean soup with Chinese Yam. However, if you find that doing these simple things at home does not clear up some of the symptoms that you have been experiencing, please do seek professional help as your condition may not be as simple as ink deficient alone. There may be other pathogens that we have to treat other than the ink deficiency state that you are in. So other than the qi, the ink and the yang deficiency that we see very commonly in our clinical practice. The other very common body constituency is the liver stagnation or the qi zi body constituency. 
which I will be talking about in the next video. This liver stagnation body constituency is one other body constituency that affects many people, especially in Singapore context. So until then, please remember the health tips that I have taught you and stay healthy, stay safe.